with y'all, man. Actually, let me be more professional. Hey, uh, hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> hey guys, how you doing today? Um, this is gonna be uh part three of the of the council, and uh, we're gonna be playing this game. So, yeah, I remember uh. I was about to quit this game, actually. But somebody told me to stop being a little sissy or a little bitch. Whatever you call it. So, let's continue from where we stop. See if we can at least make it out of there. I promise you guys I'm not done. I'm not done, bro. I just I just hate wasting time. But I like waste. Like I like wasting time because I'm streaming. I can't I can't afford to do that. You know what I'm saying? What is that square stuff? What's that red stuff on top? Help. Controls. Audio subtitles. Okay, so... Uh, I don't know. Next kill you. Cheers. What did I do that was wrong? That you just cured right now? Did I just waste that? Hmm. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm gonna have to check Google. Bro. But what's the point? You know what I'm saying? What's the point of checking Google if you can just do it yourself? Nah, I'm gonna just keep it pushing. Hmm, down to funds. Force to do that, find a solution to that. Wow. Yeah, I'm forced to do that. Alright. Yeah. Bruh, I need to stop like I have clips, bro. I need to just stop this. I can try to edit videos. Because I do have clips. The statue is darker on the right hand side. It must be often placed towards the fire, which would explain the difference in color. In that case, it would be facing the Medusa. Perfect for the coup de grace. I give it to you. What does that mean? Does that mean I don't have enough? Okay, that was this hero is the only one holding a weapon. It seems obvious that he's the one whose job is to cut off her head. So, sword toward the Medusa. Okay. Hmm. A painting with no name. message because probably because I never fucking asked him about that. Let's, 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 you know what? Let's forget about what we don't know. Right, let's work on what we know. All right. Hmm. The mechanism is worn here. Whenever the shield is not turned toward the sword, the machinery freezes up. The statue must have been in this position most of the time. Betrayed by the marks of time. So that makes it easy. The shield must face the sword. But why are they giving us two contradiction and uh, two contradicting information? Let's it think. No to vanquish the beast, the statues have to be lined up in a specific order. What can the shield be for? To protect its holder? Why not? But in that case, what's the lantern for? Step back and take a second, Louis. Be logical, but open-minded. Think outside the box. 
Nobody said a statue has to have only one use. I wonder if the lantern was to distract the Medusa. This shield can both protect the holder and also reflect the light from the lantern to distract the beast. In other words, I'll have to make an angle of 90 degrees between the lantern and the Medusa by turning the shield to face the sword. If Mortimer's the one who thought of all this stuff, then honestly, he must have a screw loose. Crazy idea, but worth a shot. Which I do have it holding to the, the hero towards the sword. Holding the sword. So that's correct. What the hell was that? Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Why would they just have honey right there, bro? Makes no sense. I can't do this. Now, Louie. It's time to keep a logical mind, as every good scientist should. The aim is to defeat the Medusa. So what can the lantern be for? To light up the Medusa? Facing the shield. Hardly likely. The hero holding the lantern will be easy prey, and the shield will be of no use. To light up the sword? No. That makes no sense. So that leaves the shield. Hmm. I wonder if the aim is to play with the light. If I turn the shield right, the light would be reflected. The ray of light will perturb the Medusa so and focus her attention on the best protected hero. Pretty smart. But it also means I have to make sure I get the shield position just right. Hmm. I think we just did it. Yes, sir. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go, bro. Let's fucking go. Oh my For Pete's lord. sake, Emily. You scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business then. Freaking I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. Okay, the only a bad thing. Should I should I act funny? I mean fem females like the funny dude. I was feeling a bit peckish. I went in search of the kitchen and I ended up here. <laughs> direction is mind boggling, isn't it? Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Hey. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, <laughs> let me know. Oh, yeah. You have dreams. I'm in a good mood. At your man. service, I madam. Play, yeah, no. I just, uh, I don't know. It's kind of. No, I don't get a lot of comments right now. But today I was just like, I was just checked my YouTube studio. And honestly, I was just like, I was like, whoa, whoa. That's it? Wow, that's tough. Yeah, man, and I replied to somebody who wanted a comment. And the person replied back, actually, so. I found an amazing ring. There's an inscription engraved on it. The mythical ring of the Nibelung. Louis, do you really believe it's the ring of the legend? You should try it on. They say if you wear it on your finger, it makes you more agreeable. How droll. In the legend, it's a cursed ring. Emily, when I see that ring, I can no longer hold back my feelings for you. Oh, <laughs> you being ridiculous. What do you mean? I was just about to get down on one knee. <laughs> yeah, man, uh, like I said, I was in a good mood, so I kind of just, bro, can I pass, man? Like, now I gotta go around. A golden fleece. It's freezing, hurry up. Do you think that can really be Jason's golden fleece? 
No, you are aware that Jason and the Argonauts is a myth, aren't you? But Mortimer has been protecting this hide. It must be of great value, don't you think? Certainly of historical value. This kind of hide is still used by gold diggers in Eastern Europe. Now you see how easy it is to obtain a legend. Why do you have to act so nonchalant every time I show you something? Louis, anyone can kill a sheep, rip off its hide, and say it's the Golden Fleece. We're at Lord Mortimer's, not at some farmyard fair. You're just too skeptical. And you have a tendency to believe anything. Talk about an unlikely pair. Yet, you know opposites attract, don't you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. Yeah, no. what's, what's the library name? at Buckingham has three. Gee, is there anything England doesn't have yet? Wait, yes, there is. The United States. Well, not yet. Besides, as far as I know, they don't speak French in the United States. I mean, you're right on that. I want to try to learn French, though. A ruble. Je m'appelle. Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. It talks about his passion for art. Yeah, I can tell he well, he definitely uh, got a passion. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. <laughs> this could go on for hours. Just tell me. <laughs> Caesar's lore yeah, reef. The workmanship on this crown is amazing. The finesse of the gold laurel leaves is beautiful. A crown worthy of an emperor. I'd stake my life that it's the genuine article. I can just see Mortimer dressed in a toga, wearing a laurel wreath, strutting around his manor all day long. You have a curious idea of Mortimer. Why? He's eccentric, like all the English are, isn't he? Well, if Peru stands for French grace, well, then if I were you, I wouldn't though. be making that sort of remark. She don't drain me, bruh. Just like when you go on a date. Yeah, I'm out, I'm out of points, man. You should see the sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. This weapon is typically French, quite old, undoubtedly goes back to the Crusades. If it is a true Damask sword, it's worth more than a kingdom. Damask. What is, I don't, I don't. I think this is Excalibur, King Arthur's sword. Nah, nah. I've always dreamt of drawing it from the stone. How sweet, you're still clinging to your boyhood dreams. When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search Dang, the place? She does not like me, bruh. Dang, bruh. She definitely does well, not like the kids. Looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. Amber crystals. Whoa, chill. Here's bruh. something interesting a manor in Maine. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia, properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old, and all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? These documents must be fakes. No man can own that many original works, no matter how rich he is. Be careful. The Order has tried many times to estimate his personal wealth without ever succeeding. And look here. Castles in Scotland, vineyards in Italy, districts in Venice. He's richer than some European countries. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? No. And how do you know my mother was interested in this room? I didn't know, I just supposed she was. And you just confirmed it. So, do you think she found what she came for? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer and 
I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she I have left them? I think parts to it. Once again, I, I don't, don't know. Too, so we'll sure. have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? How did Lord Mortimer get all this? It's just crazy. Secret connections, money, or a well-kept family treasure passed on from generation to generation. Hmm. Who knows? That would mean some of Mortimer's ancestors lived before Jesus was born. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Hmm. Maybe you'll find something. So what is, uh... What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up oh, like shit. a book to you. Oh. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Bro, water or I knew cellar. It was be like Stop all the now. clever evasions and just trust me. Like, like, why the I knew it. I knew it. Trust in you, Louis. When are you going to understand that I just want to help you? What do you expect? That I'll fall into your arms and say yes to everything you want? What are you oh, talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. If only on principle, as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit, you are fairly reliable. I don't have points That's on it? You, okay, I, I was one. expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help? Just like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! <laughs> And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Should I hear? Hmm. You think your scathing wit protects you, but in fact, it makes you blind. No sooner have people introduced themselves than you already see them in a bad light. You play the part of a strong woman, and yes, you them? are a strong woman, of course. But what I see is a sensitive young lady who lacks self-confidence. Stop adopting a defensive posture and you'll oh, see just how quickly new doors will open. There is some truth to what you say. Have I might have some weaknesses, but I don't <laughs> need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Yes, you're the kind of girl who gets by on her own and who shares nothing. The fact is, you are completely mistaken about me. Oh shit, I fucked up. I already oh, have yeah. a work partner. She said she needs, she needs... I know my weaknesses. Needs... I don't Fuck. doubt that your abilities will be of use to me. But I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. <laughs> Devil, did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. When it comes to getting results, you are very good. I grant you that. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma, my twin sister. Oh. Now I get why you said you had a memory for two. See, games yes. fun when you, you can't winning, imagine bro. to what extent, though. As children, everyone bro, got us mixed up. Case, uh, so one day, we decided to play along. 
Since then, we have become my one and the same. My, we my have officially my erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Clever. But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead, and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir Home and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return for Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Instead, a sailor passed me a message from home, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. Or you will pay very dearly. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Hold on. It's time to leave. <laughs> I, I guess they don't do that. Usually, I thought they, they do cheek to cheek. The kisses. Cheek to cheek kisses and stuff like that. Apparently not. They acting like Americans. Nah, 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 nah. I mean, yeah, kinda. I ain't playing this game like an American, though. <laughs> so, what do you think of our first adventure? I must admit, it has been fun by your side. Same here. Oh, she's been drinking too much again. Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please, don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. Yeah, she's, she in my room. Are you sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us? Louis, we need to talk now. Bro, Otherwise, it'll be down. too late. It looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Bro, I, I, I don't know. Sorry, Emily, but I can't leave Elizabeth like this. All right, Elizabeth. How can I help? Thank you. Come on, follow me. Bro, if this girl kills me, bro. She, she was too crazy. I don't know what she could do anything, bro. I really need to talk to you, Louis, right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it! My days are numbered. All right. What have you got on your mind now? Oh, Sharon. You've got right? to listen to what I have to say while there's still time. You need to know the truth about your mother. About my mother? So I just wasted what this place for nothing? I saw her. Saw who? You saw my, my mother? mother dumb when? Ass? Just last night. I went out to walk along the cliff top and I saw her in the distance. She tried to hide right away, but I'm sure it was her. Are you saying you recognized my mother in the middle of the night while she was hiding? Yes, Louis. I know it was her. She you just said she was far away, right? right now. In the middle of the night. And the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. Listen, I'm telling you it was her. doesn't hesitate on her answers. She's not trembling. She's really convinced of what she's seen. Did you talk to each other? No, she was far away. I I didn't make Not any bad. noise, and then she was gone. Have you told anyone you've seen her? Sir Holm? Mortimer? You don't understand. It's her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening. The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. She's here. I'm telling you, it was her. Yes, I need something to calm me down. Don't pour. Hey, don't sip no drink from her, bro. Yeah. No thanks. I I'd better not. Listen, if you want me to tell you everything, you have to drink with me, Louis. What I have to say to you is of bro. the utmost importance. But why do I have to drink, bro? 
Bro, fake a drink, bro. God damn it, bro. Bro, right, bro. I'll drink with you, but I know she. I know there's something okay? in that cup, but like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, fuck it. Let's let's see what happens, bro. Don't drink it. I don't know where she gets her rock cut from, but frankly, it's disgusting. Why did you sip it? You know, like, Louie, when I came here, it was in the hope of getting help. I've only just and now just realized that I've been this. drawn here into Look a him. trap. Whoa. The alcohol's... Like, I knew <sighs> it, bro. Head. I knew it, bro. Here, the condemned's last drink. Elizabeth, alcohol never solves anything. I'm going to stop now. Listen up. You want to know what your mother was capable of, right? Bruh, what is this You game want doing? to know the Bruh, reason why? I super little stuff. Well, you're going to have to follow me to the bottom of the abyss, Louie. Either drink or get out. Man, bro, I, bro, I, nah, bro. No, I won't drink. All right, Louie, then get the hell out of here. Nah, bro, You're I... incapable of opening your eyes, so be it. Get out! Bro, I don't trust, I don't trust this kind of person, bro. Let me get out of here, bro. Bro, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, bro, but I have a damn soul waiting for me in my room. I can't be wasting time with her. I took one sip, I'm, I'm already, I'm, I'm, I'm almost tripping, I'm falling, bro. I can't, bro. Before they violate this dude, bro. I just helped him. He could have got violated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man get violated too. Why the hell did I go with Elizabeth? No way, bro. I lost both. Nah. I could have spent the night with Emily, but no. I had to go play the night with a big heart. Nah, bro. Nah. Oh, well. Never mind. Bro, I could have just dropped another Bro, game. bro. I hate this game. I hate this game, bro. Damn, bro. Hmm. At least he could have gotten violated. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. At least he could have gotten violated. Bro, why does she want me to take alcohol before she tell me something? <gasps> Monsieur de Richet, I am arresting you for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. What the hell's going on? You are in deep trouble, my young friend. Is that man in the Of ancient language, of secret society. 
I'm just trying to play safe, man, and I'm getting fucked. Okay, so part one. Alright, so we just played part one, right? So we can play it again. Might as well just play it again. You know what I'm saying? Let's play it again and, and let's take it off. Stop! You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair of my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. Girl, she's a psychopath. I don't, I don't you know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, I can't Louis. Skip this stuff. It's so annoying. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more well, minutes and my concoction will be ready. Edit it and release it. With this, wait. your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational. And open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Bombarchard! Bombarchard! Mm hmm? Listen! Let's make a deal! I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. That's easy, bro. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Please, be my guest, Mother. Mm. Ah. Ah. Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this Bro. case. Oh, Somebody I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, one. mother. He doesn't you know even what? Know how to spell I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming like with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, 
I have to do this. <laughs> Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. Right, and don't gotcha, forget to send gotcha. our men I'm, to I'm, tent I'm, to Von Borscher. I'm, right I'm, I'm doing my own time. Make sure y'all get the content y'all waiting for, man. Call it a day. I love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all tuning in to me, man. Love y'all. Peace.